Perhaps in reality, our story should end here. But every story deserves a happy ending, even if none of us is prepared to believe in it. So let's allow our poet to strip off his rich man's clothes, and as a beggar once more, to make up with his loved one. Let's suspend our disbelief and pretend that our poor little rich girl and our beggar poet end this tale together and live happily ever after. Imagine now that our poet invites his sweetheart to dine with him in front of his hut under the moonlight, where on a little table improvised from an old apple crate, he serves a small chicken, a little bit of manioc flour, and a drop of cachaça. All these things he's gathered from witchcraft offerings found at a crossroads near the city. <laughs> Not forgetting the candles, which he's also found from witchcraft offerings. The finishing touch our romantic story needs.